When you think Chicago Cubs legends, you think Ernie Banks, Billy Williams, Ryan Sandberg, Fergie Jenkins. The Cubs have had plenty of legends take the field over the years, but there is one guy that needs to be remembered as a team legend forever, and that guy is Derek Lee. If you're watching this video, you're probably a Cubs fan, and if you're a weirdo Cubs fan like me, you know what happened in 2003. The Cubs were five outs away from reaching the World Series and historically blew it. If you're interested in that, I did a full video breakdown. Obviously, this was a crushing blow to nine-year-old me, but as a famous American philosopher once said, sometimes to find the light, you have to go through the deepest darkness. And that famous American philosopher is Jared Leto. I'm the Joker, baby! The Cubs acquired Derek Lee on November 25th, 2003 after the World Series champion Marlins pulled a Marlins move and dumped salary immediately after winning it all. The Marlins received Hesop Choi and Mike Nanini in the deal. To say the Cubs fleeced the then-named Florida Marlins is quite the understatement. Choi was traded away during his first year in Florida and played only one more season for the Dodgers after that, being out of baseball after the 2006 season, while Mike Nanini never made the majors. Lee was the Cubbies' first baseman from 2004 to 2010, and he was a monster. Look at this baseball reference page, specifically the extremely bolded 2005 season where he led the league in hits, doubles, batting average, slugging, OPS and OPS+. Plus. All of that while winning a gold glove that year, but we'll take a closer look at that season in a little bit. Derek had a 129 OPS plus during his seven years in Chicago, showing that he was consistently 29% better than the average MLB hitter. In fact, his 903 OPS in a Cubs uniform is the fourth best in franchise history behind Hack Wilson, Sammy Sosa, and Chicago Cubs legend, Ray Grimes. Anytime you're mentioned with Hack Wilson and Sammy Sosa's video game numbers, you know you're doing something right up there. Derek Lee's 2005 season is one of the best in Chicago Cubs history. Like I said earlier, he added seven bold numbers to his baseball reference page that season, including a 1. OPS and the batting title. In fact, he had a 1. OPS in every split that you can think of, versus righties or lefties, home or away, day or night. This guy just raked. Also, he only missed four games that season and gave the Cubs a gold glove at first base. He did all of this while the Cubs weren't really anything special. They finished four games under 500 that season and 21 games back of the Cardinals in the division. I don't believe any Cub has matched that production since. Chris Bryant came pretty close during his MVP season of 2016, but Lee's season was better. Lee's 7.7 .7 war in 2005 ranked 13th all-time in franchise history, and just for reference, KB finished the 2016 season with a 7.3 war, 0.4 behind behind Derek Lee. If the 2005 Cubs made the playoffs that season, Derek Lee jerseys would be everywhere at Wrigley today. Maybe it's because I was 11 years old at the time, which might be the exact age that you care about sports the most, but Derek Lee is one of my favorite Cubs of all time. And yet, I feel like he's forgotten in the fan favorites conversation because of the core group from 2016. Derek Lee should be beloved in Chicago, and it's a shame that his teams couldn't make more of an impact in Cubs fans' lives. Not only was Derek Lee one of the most underrated players in Cubs history, but maybe one of the most underrated players in all of baseball from the mid to late 2000s. He finished his time in Chicago with two All-Star appearances, two gold gloves, and received MVP votes four times. Not bad for a seven-year stint on a bad team. Lee had a great run overall with the Cubs, yet it could have been a lot better had he not gotten injured in the 2006 season after a collision with Rafael Fercal resulted in Lee missing significant time right after it looked like he had broken through as one of the game's next big stars. And that's it folks, a very brief video here, but I need to make sure that you guys are giving Derek the love he deserves. Researching for this video made me order a Derek Lee jersey, so I can't wait to show that off at Wrigley Field soon. If you made it this far, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and comment what your favorite Derek Lee moment is. Thank you for watching.